Hello everyone, welcome back to Name Hero. Today, we're gonna be going over how to set tick speed in Minecraft. Let's get started. As you surely already know, Minecraft is a game where time passes. However, the game can't pass in real time, otherwise it would take forever for anything to get done. Imagine playing Minecraft at night after school, and it's dark and you have to fight off enemies the entire time. That simply wouldn't work. So instead, Minecraft has an in-game time tracking solution called Tick Speed. Tick Speed in Minecraft is one instance of a game loop. And a game loop is the time in which a game factors in player input and updates to react to your interactions. Minecraft's normal tick speed is 20 ticks per second, meaning that one tick occurs every 0.05 seconds. One in-game day is made up of 24,000 ticks, which equates to about 20 real-life minutes per in-game day. Something interesting here to note, though, is that if your computer is too slow to run Minecraft properly, the game will run at a lower tick speed and in-game time will pass slower. So, if your game is running at 10 ticks per second, time will pass half as fast, meaning that processes like waiting for crops to grow will take twice as long. Seriously, tick speed affects everything. It affects mob spawning and despawning, in-game events like raids, day-night cycles, weather cycles, and it even factors in updates to dimensions like the nether or the end. Even redstone contraptions function almost entirely through tick speed. Seriously, look up some videos on how complex redstone builders manipulate tick speed to build some crazy stuff. Now, if you'd like to customize your tick speed in Minecraft, you have to utilize the random tick speed command. Of course, you need commands on in your world for this to work, but once that's set, type out this command as follows game rule, random tick speed, and then the number. We're going to set the number to 500 to start. Once you do this, Minecraft will run at the updated tick speed. As you can see here, the world is processing many more ticks per second, making things like plants grow a lot faster. If you'd like a bit more information on tick speed, you need to press F3 plus G to activate chunk borders. As you may know, Minecraft worlds are broken up into 16 by 16 chunks. You can see the various chunks with this chunk borders option on, like this. While you can see all of these chunk borders, you'll notice blue boxes stretching up into the sky. These blue boxes are called subchunks. In random tick speed, the function that we were manipulating earlier, decides how many blocks within one subchunk are updated every time there's a game tick. In Java Edition, the default random tick speed is 3. That means that 3 random blocks within a subchunk are updated within every tick. So increasing the tick speed like we did earlier means more blocks will get updated with every game tick. While we already mentioned how tick speed affects crops and farms, it can affect other things too, like the amount of time it takes for dirt blocks to grow into grass. However, you can't just set a super high tick speed and expect everything to run flawlessly. If your Minecraft world is lagging after you increase its tick speed, drop the speed back down. After all, increasing your tick speed means messing with Minecraft's intended gameplay behavior. Depending on the power of your device, it may struggle and even lag with the faster processing power required to handle a higher tick speed. This goes double if you're playing on a server and it's lagging. Well, that's about it when it comes to tick speeds in Minecraft. Thanks so much for watching, and for more Minecraft content, check out NameHero.com. We'll see you guys in the next video.